Hey everybody, welcome to our Job News 101 workshop today. We are so excited to talk to you about the activity report, one of the most powerful but most esoteric reports inside the Job Nimbus library. My name is Logan. And I'm Dan. And yes, we're going to be talking about the activity report, which is a report that does not get a lot of love in Job Nimbus, which is crazy because you can do so much with it. You can uh, create reports that help you see every single activity that happens in Job Nimbus. You can save deleted records. You can even look at a, your email replies, which is a report we're going to be building together. And you can do so much more, but that's right there. That's just the tip of the iceberg. And that's what we're going to be focus, focusing on today. So let's get into it. All right. So if we're going to be using a activity report, we might want to know what an activity is. So if we go check out some of our jobs, I'll tell you all about it. So anytime we do a thing inside Job Nimbus, we're usually going to be making some sort of activity. So if we look at this long lasting job in the activity section right here, we have ages and ages of activity. And this is just user created activity. We can change this to all and it'll also give us all the system activity. So this is what happens when somebody makes changes to the contact information. Here's an email being sent out, the status being changed, notes being left, texts, all sorts of stuff count as activity. Just about anything you do, that's gonna be an activity. So if we go to our reports tab, we click the three dots and choose to create an activity report, we're gonna see exactly how much activity we have in this account. It is 18,610 individual activity items. Well, having that much is not incredibly useful because how are we gonna find what we need? Well, when we need to narrow things down, we need a filter. We're gonna use a filter here for note to find a particular kind of activity. So when you're going through your job members activities, you're making things, editing things, and also deleting things. Often we delete things on purpose, but sometimes something's deleted by accident. That is a mistake or what we call in Job Nimbus's official terminology, a whoopsie doodle. So let's take a look at these whoopsie doodles because we can see them. I'll even show you how to fix them. So we're gonna click at least one of these. We're gonna type in deleted. There we go. Click on it to add it in and we hit apply. Here we go, we now have all of our deleted activity, 337 items. Now, normally your whoopsie doodle is gonna be right up at the top because you just realized that you did it. But maybe it's been a little bit. You made this whoopsie doodle a few years ago <laughs> or a few months ago and you wanna change it. Well, we can filter this down even further using a system activity filter. This allows us to narrow it down. For instance, I wanna see only contacts that have been deleted. I'm gonna apply that. Now I have a much more reasonable 48 items to look through. And the one I want is actually the top of the list, Mr. Ivan Drago. Now I can take a look at his information. And if I'm ready to restore him, I click undelete. And Ivan Drago is once again, a real boy. <laughs> now this is a great use of the activity report. Something else we can do with it is, as I said earlier, emails activity. And we might want to see all the emails that come in, all the email replies that customers send us in one place. We can do that with an activity report. Exactly. And not all whoopsie doodles in Job Nimbus are deleted activity related. Some of them are because we missed something that happened in Job Nimbus. So let's actually create an activity report so we never miss an email reply. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to filter out a lot of this activity because we don't want to be looking at 18,000 lines of activity. So let's add a filter. And the first uh, filter we're going to add is activity type. We're going to choose email and we're going to exclude any empty records. So let's apply. And as you see here, all of our type is email, but we see here that we have some created by, we have some automations, we have Charles Schnell. We still need to filter this down a bit so we're only seeing replies coming into our account. So let's do another one and filter by created by, and we're going to exclude any or all, in this case, our team members. So let's just uh, bear with me as I 
go down the list here and select every single one of my team members because we, we don't want to look at the emails that they're sending out. We only want to look at the emails that we're receiving into our account. So with the last team member added, let's apply this. And we still have this pesky created by automation. So let's add in one more filter for activity resource or activity source. And we're going to exclude any of these activity sources. Now I'm going to copy and paste this into my account here. So we're going to copy and paste. It says system automation contact. You will need to do this for every single trigger that you have. In this case, we have contacts, jobs, and tasks. But if you're using work orders as a trigger to send emails or another type of trigger in your automation, you will also need to add those to this list. But here I have system automation contact, job, and task. And that right there should be all I need. So I'm going to apply. And there we go. It took out all of my automations. It took out all of my uh, team members. So I'm only looking at email replies. Now let's clean this up a bit. We're going to remove the type because we know it's an email. We're going to remove the created by because we know it was created by an email, incoming email. We're also going to remove the parent workflow because again, it's an email. We know it's an email. We're all, I mean, let's remove this is status changed. We don't need that. And let's add this date created so we know exactly when this email came in. And then we'll add a column for related. That way we know exactly who this email is related to, what file it's related to. So there we go. That is a pretty good report. It'll show every single email that comes into our, into our account. And we can even put it on our dashboard as we see here. So as soon as we log into Job Nimbus, the first thing we see are the replies coming into our account. And we can have full visual on our email replies so we never miss them. As you see, our last email that we received was September 26, 2019. That was a long time ago. So we most likely missed a lot of emails and our contacts stopped emailing us. That is a whoopsie doodle. But hey, we'll never miss an email again. Absolutely. So this covers some of the options that you have when building an activity report. Now, if you have questions about what an activity report could do, or if you'd like to see what's possible, feel free to reach out to our support team and they'll tell you if your idea is possible in an activity report. It might be.